So I wanted to welcome our, our next, uh, our first guest uh, of many, Brett Spodak of Productive Power, who's going to talk about how ChatGPT amps productivity. Now, Brett is a productivity expert. He is someone who runs a company, helps train individuals and businesses in how to increase their efficiency and effectiveness. I am a client of Brett's. He's changed my life. I'll share you. Uh, I'll share something more with you later about that. Uh, Brett, thank you so much for joining us today and being our first guest for AI marketing and sales. Dan, <clears throat> Dan it's my pleasure. Uh, so glad to be a part of this uh, amazing webinar series that you're putting on. Uh, I think it's so timely. I mean, you can tell by the number of people that are attending here how interested people are in the topic. Um, you know, I can't tell you how many people I've introduced to it just personally and professionally. I mean, you can't help but be excited about it. Uh, it's kind of like when you first, you know, played with the Google search engine or you first got your iPhone and it was just so exciting to have this new tool that was so powerful and you can't help but, but share it with people, you know, because you're super excited about it and you just want to see, have other people see the potential and the power of it. And so that's really what's happening with us with ChatGPT. Uh, we call it the nickname Chat in, internally here. So we call it Chat and uh, we use it every day every day to, to amp up our marketing and to really accomplish whatever task we can think of um, more productively, more efficiently, and more effectively. So what I wanted to share with everyone today is, is a couple concepts that we, we have here at Productive Power, a couple of frameworks the, that we operate within. And then I'm going to go in and show you how we specifically have applied ChatGPT to our workflows and, and the output and the results that have happened as, as a product of that. So we're gonna start, first start with this framework. We call it the productivity, performance, and energy cycle. And it's really a framework that we realize um, existed in terms of you know, productivity really drives performance. There's a, a Bain study that showed that the most um, productive or the most uh, high performing companies are 40% more productive than other companies. And so productivity really drives performance and then performance in turn drives energy and in turn, drives more productivity. And so we have both a vicious cycle, which you had on the previous slide, and we have a virtuous cycle. So this can be either a positive or a negative feedback loop. So you might be in a situation where you don't have a particular good day, you don't perform well, you didn't have a good month um, in terms of revenue or in terms of performance, and that kind of got you down, got you a little depressed and unmotivated. With that turn, you're, you're less efficient, you're a little distracted, you're not as productive, and that that turns into lower performance and the cycle continues. Um, but what we strive to do is we, because we typically work with people that are really busy and you know, never have enough time in the day and they're overwhelmed and they're feeling that impact on their productivity and their performance. And what we do is we help turn it around by helping people become more productive. And that in turn drives greater performance, greater energy, and we get this positive feedback loop happening. We call that the virtuous cycle of productivity. Um, and so, the beauty is ChatGPT is like an adrenaline shot into your productivity, an adrenaline shot. And it really can have an incredible boost to your productivity more than just about, as you mentioned, any piece of technology that I can remember. Um, and I've been doing this for 30 years, you know? Um, and so we would really, if we want to really drill down and understand productivity, um, we also developed an equation called the productivity equation. And that's really the idea that efficiency times effectiveness equals productivity. And if you think about it, a lot of times when people talk about their performance, they say, oh, I'm really efficient, or I'm really effective, or I'm really productive. And those terms are oftentimes thrown interchangeably. But really, if you think about it, efficiency and effectiveness are factors that lead to the product of productivity in this equation. And so efficiency is really uh, the amount of work done in a given amount of time. Okay, so it's really the quantity of work you're able to do and effectiveness is the quality of that work. So you have efficiency, you have, or you have the speed, you have the quality, and in the end, you have the results um, and the productivity. And so what we, what we found is with ChatGPT, like dramatically decreases the amount of time it takes to do something, right? So if anybody's been there, you put in a prompt and within seconds, you get back a result. Um, it could have taken days, if not weeks, to get that kind of result back. And in terms of effectiveness, the quality of it, as Dan mentioned, you know, it's, it's like having the world's, I'm gonna go one step further and say the world's best copywriter at your fingertips, right? 
I mean, it really is an incredible researcher and producer of content. And so the results are 10 times better. So if you, if you add those two together, you really get 100x and more. I mean, it, it, it's really unlimited in terms of the potential. I and mean, we're producing things we would never, we spend all the time in the world, have come up with a quality of work that we, we have as a result. And so I'm excited to show you a couple of these applications or the ways that we've used ChatGPT um, in our business. So I've got two use cases. The first use case, um, this is real. It's a workshop description. So we're attending an event and the folks that host the event said, we're gonna open it up to all the vendors. If you wanna do a presentation, put together a workshop description and the conference attendees are gonna vote on which workshops they want to attend. And the top two are gonna get selected to be able to present at this conference. So we knew it would be competitive and we wanted to write something that was really compelling for our audience. And so our original kind of template or you know, workshop description really targeted individuals, okay? And it, it, it read exactly as you see here, take control of your day. Do you never have enough time in the day? Are you overwhelmed with email? Do you worry about dropping the ball? Join productivity guru Brett Spodak and you can read the rest of it. And it describes the, the, the workshop that we put on. It's, it's been very successful. I mean, we put that out and people wanna know how they can become more productive. But in this case, we're targeting CIOs. And these are CIOs of big companies. And so we knew that if we went in with this approach, sure, we would get people that had this pain point. But what we really wanted to do is address the pain point of CIOs overall and in general, right? Because we want them coming with the mindset of, I want this to benefit my company. I want to hire productive power to come in and help train our staff to be more productive. So we started with the prompt of what do CIOs care about? What are their needs? What are the pertain to digital productivity? Things like that. And uh, went back and forth. And this isn't a magic bullet. You know, this isn't like you put in a prompt, you get a result, you copy and paste and you're done. I mean, this is an iterative process. And oftentimes you'll find yourself spending even more time going back and forth that you might have spent without it only because you're making progress. A lot of times when it comes to writing, if you don't make progress, you kind of get stuck and then you give up and then you move on. But with chat, because you're getting progress all along, continually getting better and better, it's very, it's very, um, uh, enticing to kind of keep moving and motivating to keep moving along with it. So at the end, we work back and forth. We end up with this amazing description, this title that, that came back empowering the modern workforce with Microsoft 365, unlock the secrets, gets them intrigued, learn how mastering tells them what it's about. And then one final and, and interweaved, we have, you know, terms like improve efficiency, collaboration, performance, ROI, these are all things that CIOs care about as it pertains to productivity. So what were the results? We got 72% of the people that actually selected our workshop. It was unbelievable, unbelievable. And so uh, we got selected to do the workshop and we're gonna be doing it next month. And I'm excited to see uh, what the results are gonna be. So use case number two was another meeting we were attending. And in this case, um, we wanted to figure out a way to schedule meetings with people at the conference. So a lot of you, a lot of people in sales are going to conferences with the purpose of trying to generate business to meet new people. Um, and a lot of times people go to conferences in just hopes of meeting someone randomly that they might benefit from meeting. And what we find is that it's much more productive if you take a very um, focused approach and intentional approach of trying to set up meetings before the event so that you actually go and meet with people at the event. And so in this particular uh, event, they actually encourage that, they, they facilitate that for us. And so in the, in the past, again, uh, we're targeting, I didn't say this before, but we're targeting CRA, CHRO, so there's human resource officers at companies. And in the past, we've sent out a generic message, like you see here, uh, it, it tailored a little bit to uh, the needs of an HRO, but it wasn't really highly personalized. Maybe the only thing personalized was about what, what human resource officers care about, but it was, it was pretty successful, 15 out of 51. So 29% of the attendees last year had selected us to meet with them as it pertains to productivity. And so we put into chat, we worked back and forth. And I have to say, I've had a lot of AI moments. Um, this was one of them. I mean, I've had a lot of the first, obviously the first time you see it, you're like blown away but then you continue to have these as you come up with these cool prompts that you can put in and get tremendous results. And so this prompt, I just had to share because it just blew my mind uh, the way it worked, but I'll share with you a prompt in a second. The end result is I got this paragraph. So what I wanted to do was lead this, this invite 
with a personalized message related to that company's mission statement, right? And so uh, something like this, upon reviewing Amazon's website, it's mission to this, I thought you might value, boom, boom, boom. These are all things HR people care about. And then to accomplish your objectives, right? And really make it more personal to that company's mission. So this was the result. We ended up getting 31 of 70 meetings this time. So 43% instead of 29 said that they would meet with us, which was a 50% increase in terms of percentage conversion. Um, and how do we do it? This is the prompt you're gonna wanna use. So check this out. So we said for each company in 40 words or less, complete this sentence. Upon reviewing this company's website and its mission two, again, this is exactly what we put in. And then afterwards we put colon and we put the names of 20 companies and it literally did each company, boom, 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 boom. And we just copy and paste into an Excel, use the Outlook to do an email merge, put it all together and voila, we got the results. So amazing. Yeah, just love Thank it. you, Brett. Thank you so much. In Monday's email, we're gonna actually give you uh, a link to a document with the actual text of his back and forth with ChatGPT and how he got to this. I just wanted to share a quick testimonial and then invite you guys all to an exciting opportunity. And Brett, if you wanna put that URL into the chat, sure. Brett has agreed to give five uh, free seats in his productivity class. I'm an alumnus of this class. I took it uh, two years ago and I literally took this screenshot this morning of my inbox. I call it inbox one. Brett taught me how to manage my tasks and manage my inbox. That is an actual screenshot from 7 a.m. of my inbox. And the only one I had was the guy from Microsoft AI that I've been chasing because he's going to be a guest for unit four. And we just confirmed his participation this morning. So, you know, Brett, you've changed my life, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, it's an incredible company. Um, and uh, having Inbox Zero is an incredible relief and weight off of our shoulders. So I, I welcome you to, to try it out, tr uh, click on his chat and try um, to join his uh, course.